Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we have some disappointing news for Manchester United fans. The club's early exit from the Champions League is not only a blow to their pride but also to their finances. It's estimated that United will face a financial hit of about £28 million due to their failure to advance in the competition, the 1-0 defeat against Bayern Munich sealed their fate, as they finished bottom of their group and missed out on a Europa League spot. This means that United will lose out on a projected income of around £19.5 million in participation and performance fees, as well as reduced TV pool payments. But that's not all. Two home knockout games would have brought in approximately £8.2 million in matchday income, adding to the financial loss. In total, United is looking at a whopping £27.7 million hole in their finances. Without European football in the new year, United may be more willing to sell players in the January transfer window. With a smaller squad needed, the futures of winger Jadon Sancho and midfielder Donny van de Beek are uncertain. However, these decisions are said to be unrelated to United's European circumstances. Although United is not planning on much transfer activity next month, there could be some movement in terms of outgoing players. The likes of Rafael Varane, Case Miro, and Anthony Marshall could be available for the right offer. Varane, in particular, has expressed his desire to stay at United, but his relationship with the manager has become strained. However, it may not be easy for European clubs to sign these players due to their high wages. Many Saudi Pro League sides have already reached their maximum limits for foreign signings, and the salaries of Varane, Case Miro, and Marshall could be a stumbling block. In other news, the proposed purchase of a 25% stake in the club by Sir Jim Ratcliffe is still pending Premier League ratification. So, it's unlikely that any major impact will be seen in next month's transfer window. It's a tough situation for Manchester United, both on and off the field. Let's see how they navigate these challenges in the coming months. That's all for today's update. Stay tuned to Football News Center for more exciting football news. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.